welcome to another edition of the Skeeter Bass Champs TV Challenge. Yep, it's the bracket system. And you're not gonna wanna miss this show because we've brought together two AOI Angler of the Year teams going head to head today. Get ready. In 1997, two friends in North Texas created the Bass Champs Tournament Organization. Chad Potts and Jeff Welch devised an innovative plan to create an online presence along with amateur fishing events that have changed the landscape of competitive bass fishing. In 2002, Skeeter Boats stepped up and joined the team as the title sponsor. And today, the Skeeter Bass Champs Tournament Trail is the largest team tournament circuit in the nation, boasting the richest guaranteed payback in grassroots Roots competition and drawing competitors from all over the country. I'm your host, Fish Fishburn, and this is Bass Champs. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Techron, expect more. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Lawrence, find, Navigate, dominate. Berkeley, catch more fish. Sportsman's Auto Network, dealers that speak our language. Chevron Dello, let's go further. Skeeter Bass Champ with Fish Fishburn starts now. And from our Central Division, the Angler of the Year team competing today, Charles Whited and Bill Polkinghorn. That's right. These guys are a couple of sticks. Check out this team from the Southern Division, Derek Kirkendall with Forrest Wilson. Oh, man, head-to-head -head bracket system. What's it all about? These guys have fished all year long, won their, uh, their regions. They're here in the bracket, the TV Challenge Championship. They're here, they're gonna fish against each other and try to move on to the next round. It breaks down, it breaks down, and it keeps breaking down, but the rules are always important. Standard Bass Champs rules are something different. Yeah, pretty much standard. These guys all know the rules. However, guys, it's hot. Three fish today, 14 inches. As a reminder, life jacket's on anytime the big motor's running. It's gonna be good. You guys grab your tackle bags and let's get to the water. A mere two and a half hours of competition, that's the time, but hey, these guys probably won't need that. They're really, really good. We expect a bunch of big fish to be caught. With this season's new head-to-head -head competition format, the Bass Champs Brass decided to modify the rules just a touch. By limiting the number of Abu Garcia rod and reel combinations that each team will have on board to only three and the competitors choose from a wide variety of Berkeley hard baits, soft plastics, and fishing line that must fit inside the provided tackle bag with the top closed. We're thinking deep water, water's hot, so uh, we're gonna stay here down on the, the, the dam end and uh, we're gonna see what we can do down here. Looks like uh, we got a lake, water's pretty clear. Got some grass in it, hardwood, uh, boat dock. We're just gonna see what happens. Let's go fishing. We got the first little creek that we can come to. Ah, 13 foot, man. It's, yeah, did you see that drop off up there? And good drop. We got all shallow stuff tied on, but we're gonna give it 30 minutes. We only got two and a half hours to fish. So we're definitely gonna try to catch some early fish. We're gonna cut this trolling motor on high and just kinda, they kinda got the damn part. We're gonna come back here, but there's a. I'm just gonna flip him. Flip him. Come off that hardwood. We got the whole back of this pond with all the hardwoods on it. We're gonna go ahead and put this one in the line. Right? Oh. I'm, oh, what I got? I got wrapped up. It's maybe a better one. I'll tell you in a second. No, I'll swing him. He's hooked good. Yeah. Well, as you can see, the central team is on fire. They're catching lots of bass. The key in this competition will probably boil down to who can catch the big ones. We're gonna go check in with our south team right now. Man, there's a 
sometimes grass out here deep. We didn't get any deep diving crankbaits in our tackle selection, so. There's a fish. I don't know. Don't feel that good, but it's hooked in the top of the head. Ready? Come on. Got us a keeper in the box. You can grab the fish, I'll hold the net so I can get my hooks out. Number one. Use that for a little bit of 17. Well, just under two hours remain in the competition, and I gotta tell you, the fishing here is great. These guys are having a good time, but they haven't let off the gas. They're making every cast efficient, they're working well together, and it's gonna boil down, in my opinion, to one big bite. When we come back, you'll see what's gonna happen. Eat, sleep, fish, a motto all Skeeter owners live by with 16 consecutive NMMA CSI Consumer Satisfaction Awards. Our competition doesn't even come close. Join the Skeeter family and be a part of the Skeeter Owners Tournament June 8th through 11th on Lake Fort, Texas. Fun for the whole family. Visit Skeeter.com or see your local dealer for details. Skeeter, number one for so many reasons. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Most versatile fishing machine on earth, unparalleled resolution and clarity. HDS Carbon takes rapid response performance and screen technology to an all new level. Maximized power, maximized visibility. See structure scan 3D, new live network sonar, and more mapping options, all at the same time and faster than ever before. Get up to $300 cash back with the HDS Ultimate Upgrade. Visit Lorenz.com for details. Well, these guys are used to fishing against the clock. It's just a shorter duration than a normal tournament day, but it's going to be a great challenge to have these AOY teams going head to head like this. It just doesn't happen. Man, there was one little spot right here. Got another one. Uh, got some rocks on the bank. And uh, we were going with, with grass all over the bank. Now we got, this is a little better fish again, I think. And right here, there's no grass right next to those rocks, and that's that's back-to-back -back cast. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, get it? Yes. That's a good five-pounder right there. That will be our biggest fish. It'll have a red marker on it. It can go on the other side with the red. Fish. Ready? Here's number three. Oh, there it is. Barely hooked. That's number three. That's our smallest one right there. We get one more of those four or five pounders, we'll slow down and uh, really start trying to concentrate on getting a big fish. Man, I can see the grass now. There's one. That one? Yep. Nothing. It might call. Yeah, I think it's going to call. I should take care of the white one. 
Hey, Derek, how's it going, man? You guys catching them? Oh, not too bad. We got our, we're culling right now. We're, we're just culling, culling our first fish for today. That's great. Two decent ones and then a, I don't know, three pounder maybe. So what are you guys catching them on? We've had more bites on the crankbait so far this morning, but uh, Forrest just put that that coal in there with a, a Texas rig power worm. Great. We're watching the team from the south, and they obviously have three great bass, but they're staying in the deeper water towards the dam, fishing a grass edge. And we've seen the central team all the way at the other end of the lake up in the little creek fingers, and they've been fishing a little bit more shallow, but it's gonna boil down to getting that big bite. First spot we pulled up to, we were catching them every cast, and it, it could be a low light condition. You know, it is, it is July, or it could be, we may have found some fish on that little bitty windblown point, so, if we fish a couple of these bays and don't get bit, we're gonna go back in that area and really slow down and try to find the deepest water near that grass line and, and fish that. We're still just trying to cover all the water we can. Look on that graph there, a lot of suspended fish right there. There's a lot of fish in here. We're just trying to find the right three big ones, so. Got a little bitty break, come up to 11 foot. There ought to be something right here. Better? Maybe. Oh yeah, that one a call. Bill's got a good one on right here. Right where that point where he should have been. Here you go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's good quality there. It's kind of what we want. Like three of those right there are probably what we need. Well, I just saw the central team land a bass that looked to be about five pounds. Now, there's a lot of fish being caught, but those ounces are what will separate these two AOI teams. The southern team's been blasting fish. They've been catching them on a crankbait. These guys have been using more soft plastics, but it's just gonna boil down to a couple of big bites. We got two major creeks that split. We got 16 foot of water right here and they split. That's gotta be a, a stopping point. They really didn't give us a topwater bait, so this little chigger crawl on this belly weighted deal, you can run it through the grass. You can keep it real shallow, almost like a wake bait. Bill's got one way up in that grass. Yeah, I cast on the bank. That may be a better fish. That's a color there, I think. Come on, put some heat on him. <laughs> and we bought one, yeah, maybe. That's maybe a help. Be close. I don't know if he's gonna do anything or not. Definitely not. So, it's nice when they uh, when they're not close. <laughs> Sometimes we have to look at them and just take a guess. A lot of times we use a, a uh, leveling bar. We don't have that today, so hit that tree, a little point, and then. Get back in that deep water. We don't know if our competitors are smoking them over there. What's going on visual? I just don't want to get back to that creek channel and, and get a worm in the water and get in that 16 to 18 foot. We're really used to having, if we went to a new lake, we would have 20 rods on the deck. Today we're having one spinning rod and two bait casts, what they gave each boat. So we're we're really having to retie and they gave us some awesome Berkeley baits, but they could give us a few more rods. <laughs> hey, who doesn't want to spend less on fuel costs? Well, with the new Dello 10W30 Synblend diesel oil, it's going to give you better fuel economy as well as great engine protection. Whether you drive a diesel pickup, a big rig, or anything in between, Dello's got you covered. Neither rain nor snow. Nor a greenhorn running a picker. Nor a two ton runaway log. Nor the kickback of a chainsaw. Nor hungry wolves. She'll stay me and my heavy duty long bit. And the call of these mountains at its rugged harvest.
Hey guys, I want to tell you about a brand new program, the Sportsman's Auto Network. And if you're planning on buying a vehicle this year, you've got to check it out. The Sportsman's Auto Network is a bonus program from the best dealers in Texas, and it offers tons of cash and incentives for all brands of vehicles, new or used. And if you're an outdoorsman who loves to hunt or fish, you'll be eligible for over $30,000 in bonuses just by buying from one of the dealers. The Sportsman's Auto Network.com. You probably know it's important to keep your car's engine clean, but what about this one? Or this one? Or even this one? The fact is carbon deposits can form even in smaller gasoline engines, but Tecron Concentrate Plus Complete Fuel System Cleaner will clean those deposits right up. Tecron's unique formula bonds with and breaks apart carbon deposits more effectively than other fuel additives. So you don't have to worry about whether the engine's going to work when you're ready to play. Tecron, expect more. Fishing is a passion. It is a sport like no other. A combination of determination, the right tools, and time on the water. A dedication like no other. At Fun and Sun Boat Sales, we're dedicated to your on the water experience. So when you're in the moment, nothing will get in the way. Fun and Sun Boat Sales, two convenient locations. Look for our new tournament support trailer at local bass tournaments. Fun and Sun Boat Sales, supporting our local anglers. There's just under 45 minutes remaining in the Skeeter Bass Champs TV Challenge. In watching Charles and Bill, who are in the Central Division Angler of the Year team, the bite has really slowed down. But in the distance, we're watching that Southern team still catching a lot of bass. Is it the depth? Is it the cover? Or is it the bait selection? We'll find out. Oh, there's a lot of little fish out there. Every cast I'm getting hit with the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, hey, uh... Let me try the crankbait again right here where we caught two good ones early. Fish. Back right where we caught them, but I don't think it's a big one. This one is, uh... Dang, Bubba. Mm. Uh, how big was this, our smallest one? 18 and a quarter. Shoot, this one's off the board. Right where we caught fish early, that's where that one came from. Same exact spot. This little, uh, there's one little stretch right here where the grass doesn't go out and it gets, lets you get right to the rocks, and that's where they were. Bite's slowing down. Either because we've pressured them too much, or just hot, the sun's getting higher in the sky. Good one. Ready? We've been back and forth with both teams, and the central team has just called another bass. But guys, I gotta tell you right now, if we had the weigh in, it would boil down to ounces. We're throwing a swim bait, but we're fishing it on the bottom. Got a three eighths, just letting it hit the bottom and slow rolling that little paddle tail where it kicks up kind of like a brim. And we throw that a lot around grass, just to pause and let it hit the bottom and, and fire it back up like it's, it's coming out of the grass. So I'm, I'm trying to let it hit the bottom and bringing it back up. God, oh. Oh. Coming this way. Oh yeah. Maybe. Let's see what it'll do. I gotta get those other ones out over here. With just a few minutes remaining in the competition, both teams just called yet another bass. It is gonna be close. Well, we went through the deal of not catching any fish deep, so we put on these swim baits and went shallow. We got some deep holes with shade right here, and we're down to 15 minutes. We're just trying something different. No matter what time of year, there's always shallow fish. You just gotta this would have been something we would have really practiced if we would have had a little time. 
They're up under the mats. It's had another one come up after it. Little. No, maybe not. It might help. Last minute flurry. Another four pounder anyway. I don't know if he's gonna help or not. Gotta go, 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 go. I think he'll call. What do you think? Yeah, he's bigger. Pretty sure these matches are gonna be pretty close. I don't know how many they've caught, but a lot of them have been in that two to three pound category. They need to capitalize on one big bite to win this thing. No, oh, I got off right there. All right, we got time to neck down back here. I'm at one eight pounder hanging back here by these hardwoods I've been saving. Man, I could not catch up to him. What a great match this has been. Both teams catching lots of fish. And remember, these are the sticks, man. These are the Angler of the Year teams from two divisions. Don't go away. The weigh-in is coming up next. It's going to be close. Ooh. Right in the head. Hi, I'm Randy White, General Manager of Taylor Oil Company. We've been servicing the Metroplex for over 60 years with quality Chevron products and dependable service. But don't take my word for it. Take the word of one of my customers. I'm Dustin Bennett. I own First Response Fleet Service. We repair and maintain multiple fleet counts. We rely on Taylor Oil products to service our trucks. At Taylor Oil Company, our number one goal is customer service. Whether you're just changing your oil at your house or you have a thousand pieces of equipment, we can take care of you. Taylor Oil Company. Call or visit online today. Eat, sleep, fish. A motto all Skeeter owners live by. With 16 consecutive NMMA CSI Consumer Satisfaction Awards, our competition doesn't even come close. Join the Skeeter family and be a part of the Skeeter Owners Tournament June 8th through 11th on Lake Fork, Texas. Fun for the whole family. Visit Skeeter.com or see your local dealer for details. Skeeter, number one for so many reasons. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Hey guys, I want to tell you about a brand new program, the Sportsman's Auto Network. And if you're planning on buying a vehicle this year, you've got to check it out. The Sportsman's Auto Network is a bonus program from the best dealers in Texas, and it offers tons of cash and incentives for all brands of vehicles, new or used. And if you're an outdoorsman who loves to hunt or fish, you'll be eligible for over $30,000 in bonuses just by buying from one of the dealers. The Sportsman's Auto Network.com. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fish Burn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Tecron, expect more. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. Berkeley, catch more fish. Sportsman's Auto Network, dealers that speak our language. Chevron Dello, let's go further. Man, I just, the buzzer just went off. We got to head in. We got three quality fish. Our biggest is what, five maybe? Yeah. A couple four pounders. I mean, we don't know what this lake holds. I mean, they may have had three sevens. We don't know, but we didn't, that was the biggest fish that we saw is what we caught today. Uh, pretty much throwing a grass pig with an eighth ounce weight, swimming in across the grass was our main deal beside the Texas rig, huh? Yeah, if I have to guess, it'll probably be pretty close. You know, I'm sure that they, they're, they're great anglers and I think uh, we probably got 
together, we probably caught similar weights, I bet. Yeah, it's going to be close. I bet it's within a quarter of a pound, you know. Well, there you go. The two and a half hour time frame has lapsed. The competition side is over. We still have the all important weigh in remaining. All three of our biggest fish came within a probably a 50 yard to 100 yard stretch. Three good quality fish. We never ended up with anything real big, so anything can happen. We'll see. About to begin the weigh-in, our South Anglers of the Year are on their way up. Team of Wilson and Kirkendall. All right, here we go. Our South Texas Anglers of the Year. Feels like a pretty good bag. All right, all right, down. All right, confirm all that. Yep, yep. Good. Okay. All right, here comes our Central Team Anglers of the Year. Why didn't poking horn? Man, I think it's gonna be close. Alright. You guys good with that? Yes. Confirm? Alright. Alright, so what I'd like to do now is bring up our South Texas Anglers of the Year. I tell you what, this is as close as we've seen. So you guys knew it was gonna be close. Y'all both had a great day, caught a bunch of fish. You guys had a great season, won Anglers of the Year in the South, Anglers of the Year in the Central. Fought hard to get all the way here. I'm gonna tell you, it was a .37 difference. Oh, <laughs> but I'll tell you, the team that's gonna move on is our Central Texas team. Wow. Fucking Horn and Whited. That's close, Tom. The, uh, the total, here's the total difference. 1368 to 1331. 0.37 difference. I must say, that was a lot of fun watching you guys. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I mean, you guys, you put it together. They started biting early. We called a few at the end just to make it close. We threw some fives back, had some fours. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> we tried every cast. It's time for the Berkeley winning strategy. When the competition began, the winning team of Whited and Polkinghorn bypassed the deeper water and drove their boat straight to the back of a major creek in search of that early morning bite. And by utilizing a technique that works well for them on a regular basis at other lakes across the state, they were able to coax the larger bass into biting. They utilized several different lures, including crankbaits and soft plastics, to catch multiple limits of fish but the big difference was when they chose to cast a swim bait. Using a green pumpkin, watermelon colored Havoc grass pig, which was Texas rigged on 20 pound Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon and a 3 8 ounce bullet weight, they would cast a lure towards the shore and let it sink. Then, by retrieving the bait several feet and again letting it settle to the bottom, they could mimic the bait fish that were present. And that's your Berkeley winning strategy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Skeeter Bass Champs Challenge. And don't go away because next week, we're gonna see that bracket become even more narrow. We'll see you next time.